Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday the 24th of February 2021. I hope you'll have your Bible with you because the essence of this service uh, is an opportunity for us to read various passages of scripture and hear God speaking to us personally through them. And for that purpose, you'll need to pause me to give yourself leisure to do that. So if I'm on a video at the far side of the room, make sure you've got the video remote so that you can shut me up uh, and pay attention to God's word. We begin by asking him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Each day Stephen chooses a hymn for us to sing. Today it's a setting of Psalm 51, which is very appropriate as Psalm 51 is also the set opening canticle for the standard form of morning prayer during Lent. O Lord, be gracious to me and hear me. Uh, the music is by Orlando Gibbons uh, and I think it does very well at this particular mood of psalm. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalms which are set for today are Psalms 6 and 17, with a preference to Psalm 6 if you've only chance to do one. Uh, so here's a sung version of Psalm 6. Bring healing to my bones. 
bring comfort to my soul. How long, O oh Lord, how long? Turn to me and deliver me, O oh God. Save me for your unfailing love. No one remembers you when dead, O oh God. Who can praise you from the grave? I am worn out with all my groaning, O oh Lord. All night I weep my eyes out and cry. My sight grows weak with all my sorrow, O oh Lord. I flood my bed with tears. I'm paralyzed with fears. How long, O oh Lord, how long? cry of my heart. My every foe will be ashamed and dismayed, for God has heard my prayer. He'll show me love and care, and every evil soon will be And you might like to pause and reflect on those two psalms in your own Bible, looking in them up by yourself. The Old Testament reading is the sixth chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. And please could you pause the video and read that in your own Bible. It's possible to respond to the Old Testament reading with the canticle from Deuteronomy if you'd like to do that, and if you do want to do so, please do it now. The New Testament reading is the last part of St John's Gospel, chapter 5. It's from verse 29 to the end. And please could you read that in your own Bible. Well, at one stage in the evolution of morning prayer, it was customary to follow the New Testament reading with the Creed, a way of declaring that we do believe in Jesus, uh, contrary to what Jesus says uh, to the people listening to him in the passage of Scripture we've just read. But here's an alternative way of doing the Creed which came to me as I read that passage of Scripture, a kind of challenge to each one of us. Do we really believe? Do we really make an effort to let God's word penetrate into our hearts and believe wholeheartedly the things which scripture says to us about our own lives? I wonder if we always do.
Well, I echo in words that prayer which I just sung. May the Lord grant us to read and mark and learn and inwardly digest his holy word so that it may make an impact on our lives for good. Let's turn to prayer and put these things before him. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that the Psalms which give models of repentance uh, hold out to us the promise of eternal life because we can always amend our lives and receive your forgiveness. And despite the fact that we don't deserve and we frequently do the same things again, you have still promised to forgive and to cleanse us from our sins. Help us to rely on your great love and help us to be people to whom your gospel has made an impact in our self-esteem, that no matter what our sins, we would know that you love us and you value us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that you would help us to read the scriptures with a fresh mind and an open heart each morning. Sometimes what you say uh, through the scriptures might seem to be predictable. Persuade us that in that case we're not listening hard enough. Help us uh, to be prepared to see things in new ways in order that we can still amend our lives even though we're old. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I don't mean that all the viewers of this video are old, of course, uh, but I do mean that all of us uh, need to be young in spirit. Please would you pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart and your own mind as you come before him today. Here's the collect, the special prayer for today. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ fasted 40 days in the wilderness and was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in obedience to your Spirit. And as you know our weakness, so may we know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so by receiving the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us deserve the favour of the one who has called us into his kingdom. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.